So you can see on the top here, the term macro cycle and the solid blue bar, that encompasses all of these mesocycles, meaning a macro cycle is typically a year of training, right? And let's say uh, if you have 12 months and you sketch everything out to peak for a competition 12 months from now. Although for powerlifting, if you have, let's say a competition six months from now, you can make your macro cycle six months. Macro cycle term was typically used for Olympic athletes. So they might've had a macro cycle up to four years, right? So we can kind of manipulate our macro cycle to fit our time frame to peak for our competition. We don't have to necessarily think about it in you know, a four year sense like an Olympic athlete. The other advantage of an undulating type of model, it is going to allow us to peak more frequently. If we have to peak two or three times during the year, instead of the gradual decreases in intensity or gradual decreases in volume, we get more of a wave pattern where we can spike and decrease volume more readily and the same thing with intensity. But let's take our macro cycle here. Now underneath that in the light blue bars, we can see the term mesocycle. So if a macro cycle is six months or a year of training for us, for powerlifters, a mesocycle is about four to six weeks. So when we use the term training block, that's what we're referring to. We're referring to a training mesocycle, right? Four to six weeks or so. Remember, in a linear model, you only are changing your volume and intensity every mesocycle. So you do four weeks here, then four weeks here with this volume, four weeks here, this volume, and then those same changes with intensity. But underneath mesocycles, right, we can see we have microcycles. So we have three microcycles there within a mesocycle. Well, that's where we really allow for some variation. So if we think back to the undulating model here, and we have this wave pattern, if you will, in a microcycle, if that's an individual week or two weeks within that uh, mesocycle, that's what allows us to do this. Because within each microcycle, let's say you are doing eight repetitions for the first week of a mesocycle. Well, the second week you could do seven, the third week you could do six, the fourth week you could do five, and then you could taper. So that microcycle allows for that variation, right? So those are gonna be very important in our process. And then a training day is everything that you do within a day because you might even train more than, more than once a day. So we have to account for everything. And these are just our definitions here now that we've gone over everything and we can see see what's on our slide so everything is in writing for us. But that's just our definition of those terms. But remember, the microcycle, that's why that figure that we talk about in linear periodization is actually misleading when we just look at the gradual decline because the undulating model allows us for those fluctuations, but it's still a gradual decline to show how we can integrate those concepts.